Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're actually gonna be working on payday a little bit. So, if you look inside of here, everything looks pretty normal, right? That's the problem, because we're gonna be installing a short throw shifter in the car. First off, I wanna say thank you to Park Performance for sending over this Barton Hybrid 3 short throw shifter. I've been wanting one of these ever since I got the Mustang. They're actually pretty impressive shifters. If you look them up online, I felt them in one other person's car before, and they were actually Pretty fantastic. I was extremely impressed with it. And then you also have the short throw shifter with all solid mounts along with a uh, white line transmission insert. So now there's not going to be any more of this like putting it in gear. Look at that. That's in gear. That's literally the biggest complaint that I've had with this car ever since I got it is that the shifter in it is garbage. I fucking hate it realistically. So whenever uh, we get that new shifter in, it shouldn't be doing that while it's in gear anymore. So we're gonna head over to Gavin's shop and we're gonna get this shit installed. So let's go. to actually get all the mods on for this car that I have. Like, I got new badges, I got new wheels and tires. This car is gonna be lowered soon. It's gonna have a short throw shifter. This shit's gonna be real nice soon. Right, let's go, let's go, let's go. We gotta get to the shop. I love this little section right here. There's this building on the left, and you get a nice little reflection of your exhaust. squirrely there <laughs> so everybody's already here waiting on me apparently um, I think Gavin's actually going to pick up a Bowflex today so that's kind of something interesting damn got the McLeese well I hear music but I don't know where they are oh they in the shop they in the shop I think they're cool or something oh, oh. oh my god it's a blue Yo, Paul. Oh, it's good, bro. Bracken. Yeah, Bracken, bro. All right, update. We're going to get a Bowflex. See you in a bit. That's a big old thing. They already getting a workout. That's part of the Bowflex experience. Is <laughs> unboxing it is hard for the workout. Dead and gone. Oh. Somebody play that song right now. Hey. Oh, shit. Cold start? Oh. Huh. God damn, that thing's loud, dude. <laughs> uh, old Chief, we meet again. If you guys haven't seen the video on Gavin's channel, actually, I got to drive this car for a full day racing uh, his McLaren. It was pretty cool. All right, three, two, one! about to move these cars down the road uh, so that way they are not sitting outside because unfortunately it's about to be raining and I need to get on the lift so we're gonna move some cars and uh, we should be working on the Mustang dude this thing actually is not bad I am almost sold on Hellcats after driving this thing for a few days it's pretty sick alrighty let's back this thing in They're over there working on the Porsche's headliner. So, I'm gonna get started on this shifter. I've already pulled off the exhaust. This nut off of here. Stick all that in the cup holder, like that. And now we gotta get this trim up. Get a screwdriver. What up, dude? What up, Donnie? How's it going? It's going. Oh yeah? I was told 
you just pull up on these like yeah, that. Yeah, but that bitch gonna break. It's gonna, it's gonna break. <laughs> yeah. Sick. All right. <laughs> Sorry to let you know. <laughs> it's all right. I'm used to shit breaking. At least plastic pieces. I broke every single piece of the interior on the Z. So, what's new? You would think like, man, I must be doing something wrong. This has got a lot of resistance to it. <laughs> and then that back tab is gonna break. Oh, no, it didn't. Nice. Yeah. Good job, Daniel. See, bro, it's just patience. Oh. It's patience. Yeah, that's, that's all, bro. That's it. That's it. Um. Did it separate? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, it definitely did break. Yeah, they always Only break. on the left side, though. Yeah, and then once you take it out the second time, the clips will break, and then once you take it out the third time, all that will break around the whole side. Well, you see, this is going to be a race car at some point, so I ain't too worried about it. Unfortunately, you it's know, just going to... three times, though. That's it, bro. You're knocking that little pins a little bitch. Yeah. So this presses it out. Oh, for real? What? Yeah. Oh, that's fucking. Yeah, that comes that's with. That's bougie. That comes with the shifter. <laughs> yeah, we gonna push that pin out like, like this. No, I mean it be coming out, dog. Stick that there. Spring is out. In the boot, you have a shift boot on top, which we just removed, and then you have this little rubber one here. Push that down all the way. There's going to be this screw on the side right here. It's going to be a T20. You're going to want to take that out if I even can. I don't think I'll be able to. Fuck. Yeah, we getting that shit out. It's a little bit tough to fit this in there though, so that's the only bad thing. All right. And this can come up and I believe now we can actually go underneath the car. That should be it for being in here. Talk shit whenever your car is actually on the street. Well, I'll fuck it up. Back it up right now. Put it on the street. Really? How are you gonna steer it? Motherfucker, well, don't need a steer to get onto the street. It's already pointing out. You sure? You're right. You can just go straight backwards. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. Look at this beautiful <laughs> Gen 3 shit. <laughs> yeah. Bro, that bitch was leaking way worse than that with the this stock one in there. Oh, yeah. That shit sucks. They're great cars, but also just really shitty at the same time. Definitely. Every car. Every single one. Facts. It wouldn't give you a problem if you didn't work on it. Actually, it's fucking false because my wheel bearing is going out. I haven't mentioned that yet, but listen to this. Yeah. Yeah, wheel bearing sounding good. Only reason I say wheel bearing is because my wheel speed sensor keeps failing. So, uh, yeah, safe assumption. All right, so that's tight. We can remove the shifter. It's interesting how all of us have Mustangs now. Didn't expect that. I'll be honest, I never really expected to have a Mustang. Real shit. You will not even believe how much better this thing is. Bro, I do believe how much better get, it is. Wait, did you get this pushing? No, it's replaced. What you mean it's replaced? This is the new one. It's, a, it's an all billet piece and it has two rods attached to the shifter assembly. So it just sucks it up and then there's no more rubber huh, piece there no. holding it. Yeah, no, I'm talking about this this entire round section in the back. That's, yeah. There's two rods. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. See, okay. so see. there's, yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. a solid assembly. Yeah, 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 I got you. Now. Since uh, you can do body or trans, I wanna try both over time and see which I like better. So I'll start with body mount and then later on, I'll switch to a trans mount next time I have the transmission out of the car. Yeah. And then we'll see how much better that goes because it's gonna be a bitch to install. Yeah, now I just gotta replace a whole wheel hub after this. Gavin, huh. question for you. What? I'm sure a lot of people would love to hear this. All right. So if you had a Mustang. I do have a Mustang. And you could only do one mod to the car. Okay. Period. Right. What would it be? Turbo. Turbo? <laughs> <laughs> I guess that, yep, there you go. <laughs> What'd you say? LS swap, LS swap for a single mod. Up here, way at the top in the top right, there's a 10. Gonna need to get a wrench on that and pull really hard. Good, huh? Good. Yeah, I'm just trying to get this bolt out. There we go. Come on, man. Bro, this shit don't wanna come out. Okay, well, you know what? We gotta lower the transmission down and then we should be able to get to the top a little bit easier. Ooh, bop. It's pretty low. Let me back and get that with my fingers now. Nope. Come on out, boy. Get out of there. There we go. Now it's out and we're hanging on top of the shifter. Feels like a 12. Okay. Now I got this bitch ass bolt up here pretty loose. I should be able to get it out once I get this out. 
Ah, I can see the bolt on the bottom. There we go. I got it out. So Ooh. this is gonna be the better one? No. <laughs> I like your jokes though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we gotta put this shit together outside of the car. Woo. Billetness. Billetness. The most Facts. Billetness. All right, time to take all this apart. So another interesting thing about this, uh, the shift boot, you're supposed to cut it off around the base, right around here. Yes, sir. Ooh, that shit thick. So we gotta pull this off. Okay. Oh, we getting it. This is working well. I just really don't want to cut my fingers. Ooh, there it goes. Yeah. Fun stuff again, we get to stick this in. Right here, a little black piece. That is going to be what this is going to slip onto. I'm gonna slip it on, and then as it lines up, we'll just tighten down our bolt. There it goes, there we go, now it's in. All right, now that we got everything tight, we're not gonna be doing the trans mount edition of this shifter to start off with. I'm gonna save that whenever I probably put a clutch in the car for whenever it's either boosted or it comes time for another clutch because then we'll actually be dropping the transmission. So for now, because I actually want to test the two to see which one I like better, I'm going to start off by replacing the body mount to the car. So you have the stock body mount and then you have the aftermarket body mount for this. It's actually kind of impressive how much sturdier this one's going to be because it's actually got the two, uh, the two rods that go through here. So it should be pretty solid. We're going to put this in and then after that, I believe we should be going back up into the top of the car it just slips right on and then goes straight up to there wow that's gonna be nice i'm gonna put those two tins on and then uh we'll go to the top and we don't need this anymore and get the lift out the way finally we almost done Speaking of, wow, look at that. I can see, I can see the shifter. So we got this. We got to make sure that this little screw right here is on the driver's side. So this down here, this little plastic bushing that is going to slip into the hole down there. Oh yeah, there we go. Holy shit, this is solid. I accidentally just put it in gear. I felt it in my feet. Oh, that's exciting. Actually, I'm gonna take this back out. Ugh. Bro, it is amazing how solid this fucking shifter is too. That's impressive. Oh, there we go. Wow, this is going to be crazy. Bro, I am so lit for how this shifter is about to feel. I remember since day one, whenever I first got this car, the only complaint I had about it was that the stock shifter just had too much slop in it. Oh my God. Okay, it's pretty solid compared to what it was before. It's also shorter. Oh my God, it's so much shorter. Holy shit, that's a fucking shifter, bro. Bro, that's stout. Oh my God. Uh, I'm lit for that. Yeah, pull out the insulation basically. Not necessarily pull it out, but I'm going to. This is provided by Barton. It's your, uh, your seal basically to go under the shifter and actually uh, seal from uh, the trans tunnel. And this is a little bit tough to line up. So just a heads up. All right, where's my shift boot? All right, so if you could see, there is a little notch right here. If you can get a small screwdriver, stick it in that notch, and go right in here, and you can practically just pry these things apart. It's not that easy, but like it's a good place to get started. And the rest of this is just gonna have to get pried but then I think the top comes out. That totally just broke. Well, that's replaced anyways. This is just kind of glued in here. Yep, so then just pull it off. Mm. All right, and this is sticking up. That's gonna be the bottom of it. it needs to go in like this. And there we go. So now to put your reverse lockout collar back in, you're actually going to take this white piece right here, pick up and put it over into reverse. You got that same notch I mentioned earlier, face it to the left, but now since it's in reverse, you're gonna push down and it should click into place. 
just like that. And now, if you were to take it out of reverse, it should work. And you have your reverse lockout, just like that. Yo. It's done. Bro, this thing is fucking solid. It is like re really solid. Oh my God. That's a short throw shifter. Still got a little bit of play, a little bit of wobble in it. But dude, that's so much more solid than it was with the, the stock shifter. For real? Yeah. It's actually pretty impressive how much shorter the throw is too. I didn't use mine. Yours? Your shifter? Since I upgraded it. Mm -hmm. So now the only thing left to do is lift the car up and uh, put everything back together that's underneath the car. And I still have one more piece that I got to install, which is the transmission bushing insert. And that's going to keep the transmission from moving around. So this is actually going to get a lot more solid than what it is right now. Hell yeah. Let's get this thing out. Ooh. Got this little thing. So it turns out to install this bushing insert, you have to drop uh, the trans brace again. So I'm gonna do that real quick. And then I will have to remove these. And we'll slip this in. It's just gotta, ugh. come on. Oh yeah. Oh bro, this is fucking solid now. Oh my, oh my God, that bushing is solid. Oh, that's so great. What a wonderful design. All right, done with that. Now we can put drive shaft and exhaust on. Drive shaft is pretty simple and uh, the exhaust is pretty simple. You guys should know how to put that on. And if you don't, probably just look it up. So uh, from this point, we'll just get straight into the test drive. It's a tight fit getting out of this garage every day. A little bit of insight. This is actually like nine to 10 months in the future. So you guys are actually gonna get to hear feedback of me driving with this shifter for almost a full year. So one of the first things that you're gonna notice about the shifter, even just with daily driving, it does take a significant amount more effort to actually get it into the gear. That's kind of to be expected with any short throw shifter you have for the most part. You're always gonna have a little bit more effort required to get into gear. But, with that being said, it is extremely crisp. Going from the stock shifter with all the stock bushings, there was a lot of give and a lot of wobble. Even like while it's in gear, you see the shifter barely moves right now and we're in gear. Before with the stock shifter, bro, you literally used to be able to just go like crank that shit left and right all the way. Like you would have range of motion to put it in first gear or sixth gear and it would actually just be in fourth gear. It was pretty crazy just how sloppy the factory shifter is. So this has all billet linkages. It's super stiff, super solid. It doesn't move around a lot. And also we have it mounted to the chassis of the car right now, not mounted to the transmission. So this is actually gonna give a little bit of, of like range of motion for the shifter to drive more comfortably. It's gonna have less vibrations with it mounted to the chassis. Whenever you mount it to the transmission, it gets extremely stiff. It moves with the transmission rather than with the body of the car. And it vibrates a lot more from what I've heard. So they're actually, speaking of vibrations, there actually is quite a bit more vibrations coming not only through the shifter of the car, but because it's got stiffer bushings throughout the entire thing, you feel it in your feet, you feel it in the pedals, you feel it in the clutch pedal more, you feel it in your ass, what? you hear the car more. It's crazy just the amount of NVH that comes from the car only because you install a shifter. One of the places that you really notice the difference in the shifter is with the center return spring. It is so much stiffer. You can even adjust it to make it even more stiff. That's actually one of the things that Barton is, seems like they're pretty proud of is the fact that you can adjust the spring rate 
for your shifter, if that makes sense. So whenever you're going from second to third gear, you don't ever have to worry about what gear you're going in. You can just take it, shove it forward into third, and you will never miss it. And another big plus is that it's the same thread pitch and size for the factory shift knob. So you can take all your aftermarket shift knobs for the MT82 and put it on this shifter as well. It doesn't require any specific shift knob. That was a great feature of mine because I was able to keep the weighted shift knob that I had before. It's actually a Delrin shift knob and I got off of eBay. And um, it's probably one of my favorite shift knobs that I've ever had. Like, it's about 550 grams, all like steel on the center of it. And it's just got an outer wrap in Delrin. So that way it doesn't get super hot whenever it sits in the sun. It still gets hot, but <laughs> it at least isn't like straight metal. Overall, I've been super pleased with the shifter. The MT82s are a very easy transmission to hate, but if you pair an MT82 with a Barton shifter, it's really hard to hate. I, I didn't see the two puppy dogs. So it's just overall a very punchy shifter like having a fist and you're just like bam third gear bam fourth gear that's what it's like driving with this one it's just it's super firm see damn these tires hook really well too we got the rpm a bit higher see what it do it's probably gonna hook pretty well oh yeah i would really love to one day put like face plated gears or like a, to put a dog box transmission in this car have it be like twin turbo or supercharger making Eight or 900 horsepower, great track car. I can take it to grid life and stuff like that, runtime attack, and have just a built transmission, slap gears in it. And, you know, we went to amp in it sometime previously. You guys will see a video on that at some point coming up. The car was so much more capable than I could have ever expected it to be. So really, it's just lacking in horsepower now, and we need to make it faster. It's just gotta get faster. That's all, it's got the grip. It's already got all the parts, it handles well, it just needs horsepower. I guess with that being said, thank you so much Parker Performance for actually sending over the shifter and coming up we have a bunch of Steeda parts that's going to be going on next video. They sent all the mods that we're going to be installing. The shifter is like 8 or 9 out of 10. I'd give it 8 out of 10 in its current setup because it's got a body mount instead of the actual transmission mount. So I expect that once we get the transmission mount actually on the shifter, it's gonna be a lot more solid and then I'll probably give it that 10 out of 10 rating that you were hoping to see. Hopefully you found this video useful. Hopefully it was a uh, insightful install. And also lastly, before we go, go follow me on Twitch at Daddy Zorbs. I'm streaming a few times a week. I do a lot of sim racing stuff. I do a lot of Call of Duty. I do Rocket League. I play a lot of games. Oh, I talk to you guys. Shit. I answer questions. That's and I just, it's all around a good time. It's a bunch of dudes hanging out. It's always fun. So hop in some. Like every night. Huh? So we be partying like every night. Yeah, we be partying like every night. So with that being said, follow my Twitch, subscribe to the channel, leave a like on this video. And now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh,